Is there anything that Melanie Martinez can't do? She went from The Voice. Welcome to The Voice. Thanks. Are you excited? Yes, very. To a major label record contract, to sold out tours, to creating her own fandom, and for her second album, K through 12, she released a major motion picture, which she wrote, directed, and starred in all at the age of 24. We know that Melanie pulls a lot of inspiration from pop surrealism and her favorite director, Tim Burton, who has directed movies like Edward Scissorhands, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Batman Returns, and Alice in Wonderland, just to name a few. But did you know that Melanie's snack of choice is always a sweet and salty mix? <laughs> I have more facts about your favorite pop star, Melanie Martinez, coming right up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Azalea Hart. What's something that you are really insecure about? Comment down below and let me know. I would always get make fun of my, my gap to this day. I'm still like, it's like a habit to like kind of talk like this. Let's get right on into the list. Now I know everybody is excited about the K through 12 tour. K through 12. Well, it's going to be really interactive and not just a show. She plans to recreate the tour into a version of the movie. Her intention is to represent the school system that they were trapped in in the film and make the tour kind of like the same place. She wants the tour to be a learning experience, but also something exciting to all five senses. She's going to give the audience different actions that they can do to make it interactive. She wants the visuals to be next level and more evolved than Crybaby. So each song will have its own design as opposed to there being one generic design that is the layout for the entire show. It's going to be constantly changing. Wardrobe changes, dancers, and a whole lot of choreography. The tour is going to start in Atlanta on October 13th and it will be on the road for two months across North America and Europe. Are you guys planning on checking out the show? Comment down below. Let me know what you would do for some Melanie Martinez tickets. Melanie said she's grown some really thick skin over the past few years. She said being an artist as well as a director was already challenging, but being being a female artist and a female director and being so young, she said she really saw people's true colors. She said she was working with producers who have egos, so they try to control her or baby her or belittle her, make her believe that she doesn't know what she's doing or talking about. Thankfully for Mel, she knows exactly what she wants, but hearing it over and over again, she said it's extremely tiring and extremely exhausting. So that's how she built her really thick skin. Now Melanie is so proud that she kept her birth name so that she can yell it from the mountaintops. As a proud Puerto Rican, Rican and Dominican, she hopes to help and inspire people who need that representation, especially from a quirky little girl from a random small town who is Latina and feels like they aren't going to make it or they're not going to achieve anything because they don't look like this girl. Melanie says, having me as an example, I'm this weirdo who is just creating and expressing myself. Hopefully that can inspire people to feel good about being their weirdest and most crazy self. Just express whatever is in their hearts. Can you think of a time that Melanie inspired you? Share it down below in the comments. Melanie also also shared her favorite fan encounter. She said all of her faves have been in person and although she appreciates all the love online, meeting her fans and talking with them for hours, crying and laughing is one of her all time favorite things. If Melanie wasn't an artist, she said that she would be a poet. Her favorite way to wind down is immersing herself into some cartoons and just chilling out because she's forever working. Melanie's favorite movie is the 1988 Czech version of Alice in Wonderland called Alice. When it comes to Melanie's hair, she's had the same hairstyle since she was 16 and plans on keeping it until the day that she dies. She said that her hairstyle has never been a face to her. It's who she is. She said her entire life is about contrasting polar opposites and dichotomy and duality. She loves the idea of contrast between dark and light and her art reflects that and so does her hair. What's something about you that makes you who you are? Comment down below. Melanie started writing music because she had a goal and intention of making music that can act as therapy for people and really help them heal. She said pouring out any personal bit of herself in her music, it comes with different energies. Putting any emotion down on paper is so cathartic for her and sometimes it expresses itself in different ways, but it's not always going to be exactly what she's dealing with in that moment. She said, I like being creative with songwriting. I like having things that challenge me. I could easily write a song about my life every day of the week or a normal pop song about love, but those things are so easy. I really like to challenge myself and I think that being able to tap into my empathy put myself in other people's shoes, be able to tell their stories in some way, resonate on a larger scale with not just people who feel the same way I do, but with people all around the world who have their own experiences. She continued on saying, I want people to enjoy themselves. I want people to dance and enjoy life, but also just be able to be in touch with yourself and feel a bit more 
introspective. And for our last fact, Melanie cannot work around people. She has to be in her own little bubble with candles lit and just being in a space that she feels completely comfortable to create. All right, guys, did you learn anything new about Melanie Martinez and K through 12? Comment down below and let me know. And be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And check out some more Melanie Martinez videos. I'll see you next time.